what role do you think the U.S. is playing in this round of conflict? Well, I live in the U.S. I live in Malibu, so I understand pretty well the U.S., I believe. It's not about law. In the U.S., they have a very strong commitment with Israel. Mm. U.S. Is, is deeply committed with Israel, so that's why for U.S. it's very, very important, the idea to protect Israel. Look, the Minister of Security of Israel, Mr. Gilles, was re rejected by the Israel army for extremists. It's not that the Arms International rejected the minister, no. The Israeli army rejected the current Minister of Security as, a, as an extremist. And he, he, the Israel army did not accept him as a soldier. So the U.S. cannot follow the decisions taken by a right-wing group running Israel. And that way, for me, what the U.S. need to do is to really impose this and stop them. And I, I'm sure Israel, this school will be, have conflict consequences in Israel. You know, Israel was under big turmoil before the war because people in Israel were fighting Netanyahu because he was trying to control the Supreme Court. So my friends from Israel were fighting against Netanyahu, but then as soon as the war starts, they start to support Israel because they had to do that. So the, if you're a friend of Israel, and the U.S. is a friend, U.S. should do something different. U.S. should stop the war, don't follow the right-wing government, extremist government, and push it, expose it. Without the U.S. backing, Israel could not do this. Because Israel, U.S. is stopping Iran and Hezbollah to, to be active on this country. So Israel is protected by U.S., and U.S. should do that. Say, no more protection for you guys if you are doing this. Stop it.